everybody welcome back to the channel my name is Abby and today I'm going to be talking about some less waste or waste reducing alternatives that you can use and um, also some that I want to try that I haven't actually tried myself I've done a few videos about these kind of things in the past but I have added a few things recently so I wanted to share those and um, also get your feedback on things you want to try that I maybe didn't mention or things that you really really like and um, or things that you haven't tried and you want to see me try before you try it so I don't know let me know in the comments so the first thing that I wanted to talk about is stasher bags so here is one this is the I believe this is the sandwich size and they just zip up at the top kind of like your traditional zip top bag and you can close it just like that throw them in the dishwasher which I think is amazing I, ha I absolutely hate hand washing dishes and they have this size and they have bigger ones and then I use this um, not this exact one but I have another one that I keep my travel like, medicine in like just some Tylenol and allergy medicine and stuff and you can throw like a chapstick in there maybe or something I don't know if this one's called like the pocket size and these replace so many Ziploc bags I I actually got this purple one. It's they called it purple, but it looks blue to me. I don't know, but I got this one to use with another product that I'm going to talk about um, to make my own makeup wipes. So I'll talk about that in a second. But um, then I use like these for sandwiches, for other food, for snacks, and then I also um, when I get my cheese at the store, vegan cheese, of course, um, I will instead of putting it in a Ziploc bag when you open the package, I just put it in one of these and um, put it in the dishwasher when I'm done and start over so these are a little bit of an investment up front but it does save a lot of ziploc bags from going in the trash and it cannot be a waste reducing video without talking about a reusable water bottle it still baffles me that people use plastic bottles nowadays um which i like this one i got this from amazon from the brand myra and what i like about this one it will never want to keep stuff cold forever but um I broke the little handle thing. I just carry it like this one's full, so it's, I'm struggling because it's heavy. But um, the little thing started to break, and I was afraid that I was just going to like be holding it and then drop it one day. Um, which this one, I've dropped it a few times, and it has not dented or anything. Well, there's like a tiny little dent, but um, it's not bad. I used to buy the plastic ones all the time, and if you drop those, they they break. Like there's nothing stopping it. So um, I would definitely suggest a metal one. And um, this one, if you go on like Myra's website, you can buy replacement caps in case you break it instead of having to buy a whole new bottle, which I think is great. I also have like a coffee mug and everything too, which uh, that's one thing that I kind of, kind of in my next list of stuff I want to try, but I want to like bring my own mug to Starbucks. I know I bring mine to like if I go to Denny's or something and I'll have them fill it to go instead of taking it to go cup. But I just, I don't know, I feel like I feel weird kind of like doing that because I usually get stuff with I don't know I'll just I have to get over that I guess and bring it to Starbucks one day something else that is new to me at least um, is a reusable cotton swab or q-tip um, so I kept seeing Instagram ads for these and I was like that's kind of weird but I got one and I I was holding on to it for a while and then I ran out of my disposable ones so I was like okay fine I'll I'll try it instead of buying new disposable ones and um, which I didn't I got the paper ones which is better than buying like the little plastic ones you know how like the stick part can be paper or plastic I always got the paper ones um but it comes in this little thing it's like spring loaded I guess and then it has these two little swabs inside of it so it's got this one that has the pointy side and then the more round side and then it's got one that's kind of weird it's got like little nubbies on it and if you can see that there you go but i think the company that i got this from is called earth cider but i think there's a lot of instagram companies that sell kind of the same thing you know so i'm sure you could find it somewhere else too yeah you just clean the outside of your ear with these and um, this little one would be good because I use the this um, acne treatment stuff that you it's the Mario Badescu drying lotion I think it's called and you have to dip a q-tip down in it so this is perfect for that and um, then you can use this little side to like touch up your makeup or whatever and it's kind of rubbery so I think that if you like get a little mascara smudge it would just kind of take it off so I haven't actually tried it for that but um, 
I'm glad that I got this because I didn't want to buy another pack of cotton swabs. I've replaced every other like disposable cotton thing in my bathroom so um, that was the last thing that I needed to replace and uh, glad I got one of these. And something else that I um, that I actually make and sell these myself so um, full disclosure these are mine um, and they are reusable cotton rounds. So I have this is my little bag that I keep them in um, which this bag was my prototype. I So when I make new stuff I keep like the prototype for myself and use it because sometimes it's not perfect. Um, so this bag is kind of wonky and then I've got some of the rounds in here that are a little messed up and like have a, the wrong um, thread color because I always use purple thread on mine and I when I first started my machine thing it's a serger so it has like four different threads and it came with like four different colors in it so I just used those until I ran out of that while I was practicing so I have some in here that have that thread on it and uh, these have lasted forever I also have some in here from another company um, that have lasted me so long that I've just I just keep them so I don't have to use my own or use up my stock, you know. So like here's one of mine that's not even perfectly round or anything and it's been used so many times. But the more that you use them, the more that like the softer they get and the more absorbent they get. So what I use these for is for like face toner. So I like the Pixie Glow Tonic or any other kind of like AHA toner or any, any toner really um, and then you can also use them as like makeup removing remover pads instead of using the reusable or instead of or you can use them instead of the disposable cotton rounds or cotton balls or something um, I just don't think I'm kind of too scared to try removing nail polish with them like I feel like it would work if you Took off the nail polish and like rinsed it with acetone, but I don't know. If somebody else, if you've tried it, let me know. Um, I just haven't painted my nails, so I'm not able to, to even try it myself. But um, these are available in my Etsy shop, so I'll leave that linked below as always. And something else that is from my shop is cloth wipes. So I have like these. I don't know if this is my oopsie pile because this one's a little messed up, but um, I just have these. They're basically a bigger version of the cotton rounds, and um, like this one's got little puppies on it. Yeah, this is my oopsie pile because this one, <laughs> I just found these laying somewhere so I don't have to open a package of them. But these, you can use them as paper towels, you can use them as baby wipes, as uh, makeup wipes, which I actually talked about a minute ago. Um, you can put these, like fold them up, put them in a stasher bag, dump some micellar water in there, let them sit for a little while, and then you've got your own like wet makeup wipes. And then you can just throw them in the wash and um, start over. So I had just recently used my very last disposable makeup wipe because I had a ton in, in like a backup stash and I'm going to start using these as makeup remover wipes. And the next thing I want to talk about was period products. So I have been loving my salt cup. It's a menstrual cup that you use made out of silicone. I basically use it instead of a tampon and it is absolutely fantastic. I've used it like exclusively for the last two cycles and it has been great. Um, I had trouble with the Diva Cup and it and it was like basically too, it wasn't flexible enough. So I tried the Salt Cup and it is fantastic. And I've also used before cloth pads. Um, I just can never remember to wash them. I don't know why because I throw them under the sink so that they're not like sitting out. But like my, um, like my cotton rounds I just hang I just loop this thing over the towel bar so it's always like right there and I can just throw them in I didn't want to do that with pads so I kept them under the sink and I kept getting to wash them and it just was I need to find a new system for that um, if I'm going to keep using those but um, the cloth pads I don't sell personally on my uh, my Etsy but I have bought all of mine from other sellers on Etsy too um, and then the menstrual cup you can just get that from I think I actually got mine I ordered one from their website and I got the wrong size so I went to Target and they carry salt cups. Um, I want to try this one called the Flex Cup because it's part of the process of removing it is you have to like break the seal and the Flex Cup has a little thing that you can do that with instead of having anyways um, I'm not maybe I'll make a separate video about that but um, yeah this I don't know I just I really like the salt cup it's like I want to say be dramatic and say that it's life-changing because I think it was it's amazing like there's no diaper rash from from like disposable pads there's no waste it doesn't stink like it's just all around amazing once you get over the yucky hurdle then I think you're good and then the last thing that I want to talk about as far as the ones that I've tried and used is solid products so um, 
brands are starting to come out with solid beauty products that don't need any packaging. So that's like a huge contributor to waste is beauty product packaging, like sh shampoo, face wash, that kind of stuff. And um, Lush has done that pretty well. They, I don't want to say they started it, but they've made it more mainstream. So the first one that I have, this is the first solid product that I tried. It was the Soak and Float, I can't remember the name of it. Um, the Soak and Float Shampoo Bar. This smells amazing. It's made my room smell awesome since I've brought it in here. Um, basically, you just get it wet and like rub it on your head like two or three times and it's enough shampoo. It's amazing. And I keep it, this is really gross, so I'm not going to show you up close, but this is a little tin that you can buy to put it in. But if you just leave it in there, it will kind of dissolve if the water can't dry. So I put rubber bands over it to like hold this up so that it'll dry in the shower and it's worked really well. Um, I am thinking about getting an actual like a soap dish so I don't have like five of these sitting in the tub because I do now. I also have their solid conditioners which are a little bit, they're not as easy to work with as the shampoo. Um, so I don't use them every single time I take a shower but um, they're pretty good too. And then I have two of the solid moisturizers. So this one is Amazon Primer and then this one is, I want to say it's called Banana Love. I'll put the name up if that's, if that's not the name, but um, it's something about bananas. This one is more of a daytime, lightweight, kind of like mattifying one, and then this the banana one is more moisturizing and I use at night. Um, and they're like halfway gone. They're normally like an oval shape, but I've used them so much that they're going down. And then instead of lotion, because in the winter I go through lotion like crazy, um, I have little remnant piece and then a whole a new one under there of the each peach massage bar but it is basically just like a solid body oil that um just works like lotion and there's no packaging so i think it's great and it also it makes this one in particular more than other lotions i've tried makes my tattoos look nice so um yeah i definitely suggest the solid products from lush I also have a solid face wash and um, they have a bunch of other stuff too and I bought the the tooth tabs that they have it's just a little tablet of toothpaste other companies do that too um, I don't particularly like it because it tastes like baking soda but um, if I was traveling or something and I just needed to bring one or two of those instead of a whole tube of toothpaste I would definitely do that I just wouldn't use them every day I just I don't know I need to get over that hurdle I guess so I don't buy um, toothpaste like in tubes. So that was everything that I have tried so far and then now onto a few things that I do want to try uh, myself. So the first thing which I know this is like slightly embarrassing is that um, I have not used produce bags but I sell them on my Etsy shop. <laughs> I don't I cannot get over this hurdle of bringing my own pro I'll bring my own grocery bag sure but the produce bags I just I'm like the, the reasonable thing is not like I'm in California or Colorado or wherever this is really popular I'm like in Kentucky where nobody cares about the environment um which that's a lie people care about the environment here but um okay Karen better died where was I so um basically I'm not in an area where this is common for people to be bringing their own like produce bags so it's like will the cashier know what I'm trying to do will they know what they're supposed to do will they look at me like I'm crazy will they call the manager and make a big scene like I don't know um but and I even have like I I got little tags to put to sew into them that have the tear weight which is um if you bring your own container to like buy produce or bulk items um you'll want to have the tear weight measured so that way you're not paying for the weight of the thing that you're putting it in. Um, I wish I have brought my own containers to like Whole Foods and this place called Fresh Time which is basically like Whole Foods and I have brought like jars and little containers there with a tear weight on them um, to buy like bulk items because they're used to that because they sell bulk items but like at Kroger and stuff I don't know I don't I'll just have to do it one day I guess. Um, Maybe it won't be as bad as I thought. Um, and I have just plain cotton ones now. Not plain, but like with prints on them and stuff. And I do have some mesh fabric that I want to start making them with because it's easier. It's easier for the cashier to see inside of it, I guess, um, instead of having to like guess what it is. But you do have to write down like the number or whatever of the stuff. So I don't know. 
um, I, I'll let you know when I try that. Next thing that I want to try but I don't necessarily need right now is a safety razor. So basically a safety razor is one with replaceable actual blades instead of having to buy the cartridges. Um, and they're mostly, I want to go on made of metal so that there's no plastic waste. Um, right now I'm using one from Preserve. So Preserve takes recycled like yogurt containers and stuff. Actually they work with Pacifica Beauty now which is amazing. I actually have some stuff to send in to them but they'll take Pacifica's packaging and recycle that into their razors and like toothbrushes and whatever else they make. And um, I just, I feel like it's a big investment up front for a safety razor definitely because the body of it is more expensive but it's also cheaper to buy the blades than it is to buy cartridges for another razor so I feel like eventually it'll kind of pay for itself but it's just a big big investment um, and I, there is a new one that I've seen so some of most safety razors are like one blade which is kind of scary and um like when I was younger and I was first starting to shave my legs I went I stayed at my grandma's house and I forgot my razor and I used hers and she used the disposable one blade ones I was like oh my gosh how are you not like <laughs> like cut up right now um but I found this new one that Rihanna H.Y. was talking about on her channel on her favorites video. But it's like a multi-blade, this like replaceable um, blade this razor thing. I don't, I don't know what I'm trying to say. But there is one that has multiple blades in it. So I'm going to try to get that one once I um, kind of extend the life of my one that I currently have. Which is also something to keep in mind when you're trying to replace stuff for... Um, like less waste because you don't want to be just buying stuff for the sake of buying something that is reusable instead of disposable. You want to make sure you get all the life and the use out of the things that you already had before you go trying to buy another one because that's just kind of wasteful because you're you're just like with the cotton um, the q-tips like I didn't want to hurry up and get something reusable before I use all my other ones because it's just, they're gonna go to waste anyway, so I, why not use them, you know? And then the last thing that I wanna try is the silicone bowl lids and like the wax wrap. So again, like that um, Q-tip thing, like I mentioned, the, there's a bunch of Instagram brands that are doing this silicone, like stretchy kind of stuff that you put over top of bowls instead of like using plastic wrap or foil or whatever. Which I think they're really cool because you can put them in the dishwasher and everything, which I'm really a big fan of anything you can put in the dishwasher. But that would save a lot and even if you do, like waste thing aside, it would be even more better, I think, not more better, but even better than um, using plastic wrap because plastic wrap doesn't really work anyways unless you like do it perfectly and then if you try to put something else on top, it's just going to squish it. So if you have the silicone things, they're kind of like a, make it like a drum almost and then you can sit other things on top of it and um they also have wax wrap which most of it does contain beeswax which is not vegan so i wouldn't personally use but they have like vegan version ones of like with carnauba wax i think but basically you just warm up the paper stuff in your hands and then it kind of seals itself around a bowl or whatever and you can put it on top of fruit like so if you cut a watermelon you can seal it around the top of the watermelon and um and those are something, again, that I just don't particularly need right now, but it would be nice to have at some point. Oh, also, one more thing that I forgot to mention um, that I did not even think about when I was um, preparing for this video is my Pella case. So, again, this is, I thought this was one of those Instagram brands that was like, oh, like, because gr greenwashing is a thing where people will, like, pretend to be eco-friendly to make money, you know, and so I thought that was the case with this, but actually this is a really great product. So this is a phone case that is compostable like you can put it in your backyard and compost or you can send it back to the company to be um, like ground up and remade into new into new phone cases because I think they say something like billions of phone cases are thrown away every year because as phones become obsolete nobody wants to buy the phone case for an old phone so those all get thrown away and of course most of them are made of plastic and plus all the packaging that they come in and stuff it just adds to it so these come in a paper like mailer bag with no plastic packaging whatsoever um, and then once you're done with it or you get a new phone you can send this back and get a new one. These are um, 
it's kind of like a soft rubber. So some, like if you have a hard plastic phone case, it can like slip out of your hand or it can fall out of your pocket. But then um, some phone cases that are like really rubbery, you can't get them out of your pocket. Um, so this one is like kind of a nice in between where it's got enough grip to it where it's not gonna like slide out of my hand, but it's also going to um, like stay in your pocket, but also come out when you want it to. So and I don't know, it's hard to explain, but um, I really like this case and I'm glad, I wish I had got one earlier. So uh, yeah, they have, they don't have every single phone model, I don't think, but they have like most popular ones like the Samsungs and the Apple ones. So that was it for this video of um, what I have already switched to and what I want to try as far as reducing waste. Um, I'll leave links to all the stuff in the description box. And um, let me know if you, again, if you have any suggestions or anything that you really like to use instead of the disposable stuff. And um, also leave me down below if you've seen anything that you'd like me to try and um, I'll see if I can do that. And also if you have any other suggestions on videos as well, the things that you wanna see um, from the channel and uh, give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.